spoon of olive oil. My pot is on a medium flame. And ladies and gentlemen, while I have shared several lentil recipes with you all, this by far is the simplest. We've got onion. And basically it's all things you will probably already have in your kitchen, in your fridge. Quick little move in there. I'm going to turn my heat down to low because I don't want to burn anything. I've got some fresh thyme, black pepper. And I'm trying to make this as easy, as simple as possible for you all. I've got some scallion. I know this is all flavor ingredients I'm adding in here to that. So I'm just going to hit some garlic, a smash. I've got uh, two large cloves and three small cloves, five cloves in total. And all I'm doing is giving them a smash, as I said, like that. Give that another little mixy mix. And I put the thyme in there, large stems. Later on, I'll pull that out. I just want to give this another minute or so. I'm going to go in with some pureed tomato, some tomato paste. I need about a tablespoon of that in there. Just going to move that around a bit and that's going to give, that's going to be a silly piece of the game here. It's all about balance and we've talked about that several times. I know it's probably annoying for those of you who are regular watching my video. I'm going to add my washed lentils to the pot and you need about two cups of that washed lentil and I'm using a tiny a tiny lentil in between there's some orange one but this is a, a what's called a brown lentil full list of ingredients will be listed down below I'm just going to give this a stir I'll actually use the full three cups of lentils in here give that a good little stir whatever I have left back I will Put it in the freezer. Yeah, it heats up nicely. I'm gonna go in with some sea salt, and I'm not going too heavy with the salt because the chicken stock that I'm using has a sodium element to it. Later on, I will taste it and adjust it accordingly. Vegans, vegetarians, I tell you, you can leave the salt out if you want and use vegetable stock. Um, that's an option if you want to keep this completely vegan and or vegetarian. Next up, the ingredients to give the lentil some body, and that is complements of two small carrots and two cups of diced pumpkin. If you cannot source pumpkin, you can always use your favorite squash, like a butternut squash or something like that. Give that another stir. Just incorporate everything. If you want it, I started with olive oil. If you want to start with coconut oil, it will be a nice little flavor element as well. In goes that chicken stock. I'm just gonna add just a tiny bit more because I want this to fully cover with that chicken stock. And that chicken stock, they will add a lovely flavor. You can use water, you know, traditionally my mom would use water, but I'm unrocking the chicken stock today. I'll turn my heat up to medium high because I want to bring that up to a boil and then we'll reduce it to a simmer but before we do so a couple other things I want to add in there and that is a tablespoon of golden brown sugar a large bay leaf a scotch bonnet pepper is going to go floating in there and the reason for floating the pepper in there is because you know, it adds the flavor. The oils from the outside of that pepper will add a lovely flavor, a lovely little gentle heat element to it without it being overbearing, over spicy. The later on, I will break it. And it's only because I want it spicy. I like my lentils a bit spicy. I've got some grated ginger. So remember, when you are stirring this later on, try not to break that scotch bonnet pepper simply because it will release the beast that Caribbean sunshine will come shining through and you're going to run into problems if you don't like heat. I'm going to bring that up to a boil as I said, reduce it to a simmer and cook everything until it's nice and tender. It came up to a boil, it's been going for about 20 minutes 
and it's really absorbing all of that liquid, I ended up adding a cup of water, additional cup of water, and I'm gonna go in with another cup of water because I want that to really get nice and plump. Bring it back up to a boil, and again, a simmer. Notice the pepper is still floating there, yeah? It's been going out for about 45 minutes. It's gonna hit it to stir. And here is where you're gonna personalize things. First of all, check it to see whether or not <clears throat> it's tender enough to your liking. Give it a little taste. The salt is perfect for me. So the second thing you need to do is um, check the salt, adjust the salt. Um, once it's tender enough for you, you have to decide whether or not it's thick enough for you. The thickness is also one of them things that's key to a good lentil. I am, the third thing is fish out the bay leaf and the sprigs of thyme. It's already done its job. This year is going to thicken up considerably because this is a clay pot that I used in making this. So I'm going to turn off the heat. It's going to thicken up nicely. Last sprig of thyme. And remember earlier we talked about that pepper. I'm going to go brave. I broke it. Now if you didn't want the heat, fish that out, boom, you're good. I broke it, notice. I'm just going to give that a final stir. <laughs> Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. And after moving that broken pepper all the way through, give it a nice stir. The final thing I like doing, I like going in with some parsley. And that parsley brings a nice brightness to the game there. It's gonna freshen things up. Look how nice that looks as well too. Chris here, Caribbean pot, the easiest stewed lentils you will ever make. Not the traditional way we do it in the Caribbean. You will see some slight differences and stuff like that, but nonetheless, delicious and yo, nutritious as well too. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys here in the kitchen with me. Lentils, boy oh boy, mm -mm -mm -mm. so good.